Hi everybody, welcome to Big Kids Little Learners. Today I'm going to read a story and I'm going to read Mixed by Ari Chung. And I really, really like this story. In the beginning, there were three colours. Reds, yellows and blues. Reds were the loudest. La 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 Yellows were the brightest. And blues were the coolest. Everyone lived in colour harmony until one afternoon when Red said, Reds are the best! The yellows disagreed. No, we're the best because we're the brightest. The blues were too cool to even respond. The colours decided to live in separate parts of the city, but then one day a yellow noticed a blue and something happened. I feel so happy when I'm near you and I feel so calm when I'm with you. Blue and yellow became inseparable. Life felt so vibrant, but not all the colours were happy about it. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. Colours shouldn't mix. That blue isn't bright enough for yellow. But yellow and blue loved each other so much, they decided to mix. Together, they created a new colour. They named her Gring. Gring was bright like yellow and calm like blue. But really, she was a colour all of her own. Everyone was fascinated. Even the grumpy colours fell in love with Green. She is so cute. I've never seen anything like her before. The colours began to see new possibilities. Soon other colours mixed and mixed and mixed and mixed. There were so many new colours and lots of new names. Be careful, Jade. Don't forget your glasses, Lavender. Have fun, Amber. The old neighbourhoods of Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights didn't make any sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together, so they rebuilt the city. The new city was full of colour. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. What a great story. I definitely think that mixing is a really good idea. Bye.